Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I finally got my Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette in. It just took me the better part of forever, so there's that. Anyway, I was going to do my BoxyCharm video today. I still probably will, but I just had to sit down and film with this. I got this yesterday afternoon the sun is shining for the first time in a hundred days not really but it's been a while and yeah let's just open this box up and look at this palette okay so i forgot all about getting the little pop socket thing in here and now i have it um oh this is the box that comes in with a cute little message on the back if you want to try to read that my ring lights just overwhelming that okay when you pull it out of the box as i'm sure you all have seen yours it's representative of the lighter side of nikki and the darker side of nikki and when you pop her open let's take the plastic out you have <laughs> can you see and you do get um, a larger magnification mirror and a regular mirror if you didn't see um, all the million other videos out on this but yeah let me get my eyes primed and uh, we'll have some Nikki tutorials beauty bay fun Okay, so I got my ABH primer on and I'm holding my Sigma E44 Firm Blender because you'll see. Um, I want to do kind of a colorful look and I think I'm going to put more than one look in this video because, yes. So let's start off with uh, this, this shade right here. This VLA shade and start I got this because it's a firm blender and I really normally with shades like this you gotta really pack it on so kind of trying to stamp this down and then I'll blend a little more as we go Just kind of swirl the edges just a little. All right, I'm going to take my Morphe E17 into this shade right here called E E W, and pop that with that stamping motion right next to that yellow. I'm going to have to change my clothes when this look is done, I think. <sighs> um, hang on. Got a little patchiness going. Do you guys see that right there? What the heck? Okay, um... I don't know how I feel about that shade, but uh, these shadows are definitely, I don't know if you could see the kick up, but they have a lot of kick up and the fallout is serious. So yeah, um, there's that. Now I'm going to take my Laura Lee L19 into this Amsterdam shade right here and give that a go out here. I'm a little nervous at this point, but I'm going to try to get this eye look to where I want it. And I'm definitely stamping this on. And that's not too bad. Kind of fade it into that other, let me grab that other brush. Just kind of stamp and swipe because if you swipe too much, you're gonna swipe it away. I don't know how else to say it. 
I think I'm going to take this Luxie 205 and I'm going to pick up some of this plot twist shade right here and if the makeup gods are willing I'm going to use that to blend out this outer corner or this outer Amsterdam shade just so we don't have to disturb it a whole lot and I'm going to tap back in with that shade my Amsterdam because it's given me a bit of a fit then I'm going to cut my crease and we'll move on Okay, I'm going to take that same Luxie 245 that I used to cut my crease, and I think I'm going to start out with, let's do some Mama Tutorials, because I like this shade, and I think it is going to be stunning on the eyes. Just pop that on like the inner and outer portions here. All right, now I'm gonna use the clean side of that brush and pick up some of this pride shade right here. And I'm gonna fill in this center. These, these shimmers are stunning and they're going on like butter. Just kind of fade it into that Mama Tutorial shade. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of that Mama Tutorials just to help feather it into these sides. I'm going to take my ABH eyeliner because I haven't used it in a while. And why not? And we'll do a little liner. Ta-da! We're back. All products will be listed in the description box. Um, these are, I believe, my Lily Lashes in the style Miami Light. <laughs> and, um, this is just Huda Beauty's Trophy Wife with a little Jeffree Star blue nude on top. But everything else will be in the description box. So I'm going to take my Alexi 215 angled brush back into that Amsterdam shade Rot Buyer. And we're going to use the magnification side of the mirror. So I'm going to cut you guys off this time like I have a good habit of doing. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corners. I switched that brush off. And now I think for something a little different, I'm going to pick up this shade uh, called Blend and Snap. Because, <laughs> I mean, yes. Have you guys ever watched Legally Blonde? The bend and snap. Oops, hang on. I think I'm going to grab my Sigma E30 pencil brush for this. Anyway, um, that was probably my least liked part of that movie. But I love the Legally Blonde movies. I think they're so cute. Oh yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I made that choice too. Now I'm going to take this Fair 105 pencil brush and I'm going to dip into some of this 
ivy shade right here because that looks so, so pretty and I'm going to spray this. And then I'm going to pop this right on that inner corner. Oh, yes. Drag that a little down that lower lash line. Just below that liner. And I think I'm going to pop this on my brow bone. I'm going to take that pencil brush, actually, into that pride shade we have in the middle on the top. Ooh. And I think I'm going to pop this on the top of that pink. Sorry, guys. Yes. Okay, so I think I want to keep things a little bright, so I am going to use Color Pop's Color Pop Plop Big Splash. And we're going to whip it in with the same mascara I used for my upper lashes, which is the Huda Beauty Legit Lash. But I only use the curl and length side on the bottom. I use both on top when I don't want to wear falsies. Alright, so this is look number one all complete. What do you guys think? Let me know it down in the comments and we'll get on to a look number two. Okay, so I wasn't done playing. I want to play some more. So I changed my dress because I kind of want to play with these um, oranges and reds. So let's do this. I think I'm going to start out with my Lexi 231 right here and I think I want to start out with this shade right here called Redemption. <laughs> I promise I can find it. Ooh, I almost lost it. I am going to tap that off but I haven't put concealer on yet so it's not going to be a big big deal if I um get a little fallout because I figured I would. Now because I want to see, I believe this is like a goat hair brush, it's a Morphe M433. I want to go into the heart of the palette as Nikki describes it into um, Makaya. I hope I'm saying her brother's name right, but this beautiful red in the palette. When I get a new palette, I really like to try it with several different types of brushes to see. And so far I'm finding that the denser the brush, the better the application it seems like. Now I'm going to take my BH number 11 from the Yellow Handle collection. And I'm going to go into some of this <laughs> slasher shade right here. This palette is huge. I mean, like, huge. And I'm going to deepen up this Otter V. Ever so slightly. Oh, it is an email day. Let me tell you. Go back with that M433 and make sure these are looking seamless. Okay, I went ahead and cut my crease off camera to save time in this video. And I'm just going to tickle the edges of this with that brush we used in Stalker, is that the name? Slasher. Just to 
fade them together and we'll go on to shimmers. All right, I just have this flat Alamar brush from the Green Handle Collection. And I think I wanna pick up some of this Aura shade right here and see how that looks. Cause I think it's going to look stunning. There we go, I think I got a good amount on there now. Oh yeah. Okay, I sprayed my brush this time for this side. Let's see, oh yeah. Highly recommend you spray your brush for this shade. That's going on so much easier. Now, just for the fun of it, I think I'm gonna take my finger and pick up just a little bit of this Roxy Catan. And, whoo, I almost lost it. Pop it right on the center. You can't really see it. Not like I was hoping. Maybe a little bit of that ivy will add a pop. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's more like what I was going for. And we're going to fade that. I still haven't picked up any more product on this, by the way. Oh, I'm loving this eye look. Okay, now that I have myself looking put together again, for the most part, uh, these are those same Lily Lashes in the Miami Light. I'm gonna take my Sigma E65 into that slasher shade right there. It startled me. And pop that on just the outer corner, I'd say. gonna switch that brush off right in there and let's go into some of that Makaya shade and I think I'm gonna take this all the way across going to take that fluffier brush that we used in that Makaya shade and buff this just a little bit. Not too much. You don't want to look like you got like sore eyes like I do. <laughs> but yeah. Um, inner corner. going to take the pencil brush from the Lavender Luxe collection from BH Cosmetics and I think let's dip into this all in shade right here because we have not dipped into this yet. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That kind of has a gold, like almost pinky shift. Yeah, let me, I should have sprayed this. Oh, that's pretty. You guys see that? Oh, I really like that. I think I'm going to feather that up into the top. 
just a hair. I switched off that same brush and I think I'm going to dip into Ivy again for my brow bone and hopefully this won't get out of hand with this pencil brush like it did in the first look, but it's probably going to. Oh no, that's not too bad. Oh, holy cow, I thought I was never going to get this open. Okay, this is the NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliner. This is the color Snatched. I This is, I've never used it, so yeah, I just realized I had this the other day. Let's see how she looks. I really like that liner. I think it was an excellent choice. And I just finished up with that Huda Beauty Mascara on my lower lash line. And this... is the final look. What do you guys think? Yes, are we having fun yet? Um, we are having fun, but my eyes are not having fun, so I guess I'm going to film look number three tomorrow morning. So, yeah, that's okay, though, because I'm about to put up my Urban Decay video. Make sure if you haven't, you go check that out, and we'll get on to look number three. All right, are we ready for this third and final look? I know I am. I know my poor under eyes are. I don't know if it was the one size makeup wipes because they're kind of dry so you really got to rub with them or using eye tapes twice in one day. But directly under my eyes is sore today. Anyway, so no eye tapes. We're going to try to get it sharp another way. And for all my neutral lovers out there, this looks for you. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my Sigma E40, and I am going to start with the shade Basic Tut. No, I'm not saying that right. Got a little credit card situation. The sun keeps going in and out of the clouds this morning, so yeah, I do have a very light on. I just don't know how well it's going to work. So, we're just going to set this shade down. Now with my fluffy Olimar brush from the Green Handle Collection, I'm going to go into some of this Mila shade right here. And basically put that right where we put that first shade. Okay, that shade blended beautifully. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Morphe M506 into some of this 5am darkest brown in the palette. I'm just going to keep this focused on this outer V and make it a little smoky smoky. And it is really hard to do with these cards. I don't know how these girls do this. It's actually making my eye water. <sighs> All right, so no cut crease today. I just laid down some of my next glitter primer. I think that'll be sufficient and I'm going to take my Luxie 211 brush here and I think I'm going to start out with, let's start out with Mr. Tutorials and I'm going to focus this mainly on the outer portion here. Ooh, that is really pretty. Not a shade I go for a whole lot, but very pretty. And I'm definitely doing this with a dry brush. Just to 
Just so you know, but I do have the next glitter primer down. Okay, I'm going to flip that brush over and go into, let's see what underground looks like since we haven't used that one yet. I'm going to put this on this long portion. Oh, it's pretty too. It's kind of a odd color, but I kind of like it. It's going to go right along the top there. Fade that into that Mr. Tutorial shade. Pick up a little bit more of Mr. Tutorial. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to barely pick up a little bit, a little bit more than that, of the All In shade and pop it right in between where those meet just to brighten up the center here a little. Ooh, I like that. Yes. Okay, let me gently clean up. Okay, now I'm going to take that M506 and just a couple taps into 5AM and just kind of start meshing this into that Mr. Tutorial shade. Kind of want to fade them together. Okay, without my eye tapes, I'm not sure if I'd get as precise with the Anastasia one, so I am going to use my KVD tattoo liner. And let's do it. actually came out better than I thought but anyway let me get my face on and we'll do the lower lash line Ta -da! we're back lashes are the same Lily lashes in the style Miami light that I've used for the other two looks because they're right here and my lips today are my revolution TGIF lip pencil and mannequin from Jeffree Star. I like the little ombre moment. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this um, Moda Pro BMX 498 liner brush. Why do they give brushes such long names, really? Okay, and I am gonna go in to that 5 a.m. darkest brown we used. And I highly recommend you tap it off. And I'm just going to put this real tight about halfway in that lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my Dominique Cosmetics DSO2 brush and I'm going to go into um, that Neva shade right there and buff out that darker brown with Neva. Now I'm going to take this lavish pencil brush and you know I was thinking about going into ivy but I just absolutely adore this all-in shade. So I'm going to put this on the brush, I'm going to spray it and we're going to pack the shit out of it in our inner corner. Always drag it down just a little bit. It brightens up the eyes quite nicely. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that up here, I think. Oh. 
go back with the very first brush we used to make sure it's blended out. Now because this comes off with such a stunning green hue, I am going to take my 24-7 Glide-On Pencil from Urban Decay in High Vibes. I believe this was one that came in my Stoned Vibes palette. But I think this is going to match perfectly. Finish it off with my Huda Beauty Mascara. You know what? No, I'm not because yesterday I had such a bad raccoon eyes. Hang on. I'm going to use my roller lash because, yeah, I was irritated having to clean under my eyelashes all day yesterday. Alright guys, I'm back in this. Is the final look. What do you guys think? I really like this actually. I'm not mad at this look at all. <laughs> um, but I still think number two is probably my favorite. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. And yeah, I'm sorry this video is so long, but I really wanted to play with this palette. Congratulations to Nikki Tutorials. I know she'll never see this, but if she does, congratulations. This is absolutely a beautiful palette. But if I'm giving my honest opinion, and I'll always give my honest opinion, this was, um, I'm not a makeup artist, so this was a, a little difficult for me, some of the brighter colors. You definitely want to use a denser brush and pack them on and barely tickle the edges because the more I blended them, the more trouble I had with some of them. Um, like this one and this one here. Uh, so Amsterdam and you, ooh. ooh. Um, but the shimmers, oh my God, the shimmers. Chef's kiss on the shimmers. The shimmers are knocking my socks off. This all-in shade right here is 100% my favorite shade in this whole palette. But uh, the shimmers are so buttery and so creamy and very lovely to play with. I can't say enough about the shimmers. Definitely, definitely, definitely with some of the brighter colors in here. And of course, these two bluey, greeny type colors. Um, just remember to use a dense brush and pack them on. Because I think that's the best, the best way to do it in my opinion other than that of course the browns worked stunningly but <laughs> um i love this palette i have a couple more looks in mind that i actually kind of want to do maybe i'll pop those on instagram and yeah thank you so much if you made it this far in my video i hope you'll consider giving it a thumbs up and if you're new here i hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and if you recreate any of these looks I would be so excited if you tagged me on Instagram. I'm triple T dot beauty over there. And I hope you're having a wonderful night or day, whatever time you decided to watch this. And we will see you on the next Teresa Tried Tutorials. Bye, guys.